Delta came in and gave me a whole new outlook on life. It's a win-win for the community. I'm just honored to have been chosen for this opportunity. It is a phenomenal resource. The Clarksdale community is a very close-knit community. Um, we have a lot of strengths. We also have a lot of challenges, particularly when it comes to living a healthy lifestyle. The patients help me to become aware of what it is that they would like to see, what it is that they need. The access to healthy food, that, that was like one of our top priorities. A lot of them either don't have transportation to get to Walmart, which is our like only major grocery here, or they don't have the monies to buy those foods. It popped into my head with my group, okay, well, let's look at starting a community garden. I think it gives like people in the neighborhood an opportunity to not only get access to fresh vegetables, but it also gives them some ownership because they get to partner in making sure that their garden is well kept. And um, it just brings people together in the community. Our town is no more than five or 10 miles, you know, wide, but lack of resource, access to healthcare, and things like that are things we're working on, which is why telehealth is so important. If they can't get here, then they still can get their, you know, healthcare done. We do offer a telehealth service. If you have a phone or computer, they find that it's very convenient. And the fact that they still get to see the doctor and they're impressed that we're the only ones doing it. The Delta program did a phenomenal job with telehealth. I mean, from A to Z. UPC was ahead of the curve or in touch with technology where they're uh, accommodating the people in the community. Community is Everyone around you, no matter how, we all play a part in community. That's the incarcerated, that's the law enforcement officers, that's the other health care providers, that's the people in the community, that's the local workers at Walmart, that's our community. So if we want a healthy community, if we're growing a healthy community, that includes everyone, including the ones that are incarcerated. They got a, a medical exam room with the telehealth machine set up where they're in a private medical room where they be able to see what's going on and, and communicate back with the primary care. You don't have to have a deputy to transport them to a facility. You could treat that person right where they are. If we can keep them healthy or, or teach them about health, they have a higher rate of integrating back into the community. So the goal is to create an environment where we don't have a break in the continuity of care. Being incarcerated is supposed to help rehabilitate a person, then making sure that their health care and their mental health care are priorities is really important in that rehabilitation process. The Delta program has helped me interact and treat my community in multiple ways. It has been a learning and it is continuing to be a learning experience. The program has taught me that how to have focused conversations, how to bring people together, how to intentionally, or shall I say strategically, put a group of people together to reach a common goal. We have built so many different or new relationships or encouraged or made stronger relationships that we already have. With Delta in the picture, um, this community has seen a lot more virgin in primary care. When I tell them that I work for UPC, they'll say, oh, um, UPC, oh, that's Dr. Williams Clinic out there. <laughs> they see us out in the garden when I bring the, my truck and put the banner on it. They, they see us at the community events, so they know us. We have created something I know people will talk about for years and years to come. We built a legacy, writing our story. Urgent primary care in Delta. <laughs>